Hey everybody, this is Jacob Castro from Jacob's Aquarium on YouTube, and today I just wanted to uh, show you guys my new surface skimmer. It's not really new, I guess, you, I really can't say that, but uh, I actually did make it myself out of some pretty common parts that you can find in your house. Uh, the top of it is made with a, um, a spice container, so it's pretty hard plastic and I had to use a saw to cut off the top and then uh, I use regular scissors to, call, to um, cut the little slits inside of the um, inside of the plastic for the uh, water to drain in um, and then also I use um, just regular like filter floss you know nothing special and then I use some Teflon tape to secure that onto a maxi jet water pump now um, I got this idea by watching multiple videos on YouTube about this and also some friends on Facebook and just a regular Google search um, the, the YouTube videos that show how to make this aren't really, you know, like this. They're, they use a top of a plastic water bottle instead. So, um, I wanted to go that route, but at the same time, it was just way too big for me and it looked, you know, kind of ridiculous in my tank. So, I thought a more slimmer uh, container, like a spice container, would work perfectly fine. So, um, let me just explain first off that uh, the reason why bubbles are coming out is because I lost the... Um, the uh, the little piece of plastic that screws onto this maxi jet pump uh, that controls the water flow. So if I could actually turn down the water flow, uh, I could prevent those bubbles and stuff from coming out. But I mean, it's not so bad. So what a surface skimmer does is it skims the surface of your water by drawing the water in from the top, and um, by doing that, get re it gets rid of all the buildup and proteins and stuff um, that build up at the top of the uh, water level. The main reason why you want your water level or your, the top of your water nice and clear is because it promotes proper gas exchange. So uh, when the plants produce raw oxygen, when they're purling like they are now, uh, you know, when it, it reaches the top, they'll pop and, uh, you know, release the gases from inside of the aquarium water. Um, when there's a lot of buildup at the top, the um, bubbles will go to the top and they will sit there and they won't pop. So it just, it gets all sludgy and white and creamy. It's actually kind of gross. So a surface skimmer is really beneficial. I really highly recommend you guys invest in one. If you have a tank like mine where you have stand pipes that don't uh, skim the top. Um, if you have a power filter, I'm sure, you know, that's more than enough uh, surface agitation. If you have a wet dry filter box, like an overflow, like I used to have, that's plenty of surface skimming. But if you have a stand pipe like I do, you know, you're definitely going to have to invest in something like this. Now, the main risk that you run into when you have, when you're using this uh, surface skimmer with a uh, tank that you're pumping CO2 into is that uh, it may actually cause too much surface agitation and lower your CO2 levels. But I haven't noticed any uh, of the um, CO2 levels going down at all because uh, usually when they do, the plants stop purling and uh, it's, it basically just looks you know, just like little bubbles in the tank. There's no uh, oxygen being produced by the plants. But uh, the plants are still purling. The uh, plants in the back are still producing oxygen. You can, if you look at the underside of the leaves, you can see lots of t little tiny micro bubbles. So um, my CO2 levels haven't lowered, and if they did, they didn't lower by much. So you know, that's the main risk that you run into when you use anything that, that agitates the surface of your water. So you really want to keep it, you know, pretty minimal. You don't want like a, you know, power head blowing water straight up and causing all this surface agitation because that's just going to really lower your CO2 levels. So, uh, like I said, you know, I just used some Teflon tape um, and uh, used that to strap the um, spice container on it, put some filter floss in there and turn on the pump and we're good to go. And now the surface of my water is nice and uh, clear and the light can penetrate growing the plants a lot better and um, it's just more beneficial for the tank too because now there's proper gas exchange. So I apologize for not having a video that shows you guys how to make this but trust me there are tons and tons of videos on YouTube that show how to make a surface skimmer but I mean really I don't think you need to watch them because it's pretty simple you just take a power head or you take a water pump uh, get a cylindrical um, tube or a piece of plastic or something, turn it into a tube, cut some slots into the top of it, put some filter floss, or you could go without filter floss, you know, it really doesn't matter. 
and uh, use something to strap it to it and then put it in your tank and let it go. It's, it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Um, I was considering buying the Ehem skimmer that actually people have been raving about, but at the same time when I saw pictures of it on PetSolutions.com, it looks extremely cheaply made. It just looks like cheap, you know, plastic from China and uh, I know that it's not going to last long at all. Uh, it, it's not rugged and built really well like these uh, maxi jet pumps, which by the way, before this pump was used was th with this skimmer that I built, it was running in one of my friend's tanks for three years. And then after that, I had it for an additional four years. So this thing has been running nonstop pretty much for a very long time. And with regular maintenance, it's still running like it was brand new. So maxi jet pumps are really, really well built. Um, but based on the pictures that I've seen of the Ehem skimmer, I couldn't see that thing lasting longer than a year. It just looks really cheaply made and it looks kind of hard to take apart to clean. So I didn't want to buy it and waste my money when I figured I could just build one myself. Yeah, it's not all, it doesn't look that fancy. It's not all, you know, one piece. It's not all black and, you know, looks nice and streamlined. But you know what? It works. And if I ever needed to take it out to take pictures of my tank from my website or whatever, it's pretty simple to remove. So I highly recommend you guys do this versus buying a skimmer. You will save you got you will save yourself a good amount of money and uh, you'll still get the same exact results. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to visit my website, jacobplumeri.com if you'd like to buy some lava rock from me. I am also working on uh, selling some aquatic plants as well. When my plants get bigger, I will make some cuttings from them and offer those on my website as well. So uh, please don't forget to check that out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to all my long, long time subscribers. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos and all the support that you guys have given this channel over the years. And I will see you next time.